okay now now we'd like to see what happens how the magnetization of a ferromagnetic material vary why are we interested in that why didn't we why didn't we do the same for a paramagnetic or a diamagnetic material because as i told you in in all the motors all the transformers all the generators we are using ferromagnetic materials okay why so that our magnetic field becomes high and later you will understand many a times the torque of the motor depends on on the on the field how much magnetic field do you have and you are actually using the motors for for generating torques right similarly with the generator the amount of voltage that you are producing that depends on that depends on the magnetic field of the rotor okay so these are very important materials and they are used across across the equipments so any electrical equipment that carries current if you go across, go through that it will inevit inevitably be be having a ferromagnetic material inside be it this fan be it a motor be it your or your your compressor motors or whatever or transformers even if they are as small a transformer as in as in your as in your chargers to the giant transformers which we use for for transmitting power from one point to another all of them have ferromagnetic materials inside them okay so so ferromagnetism so so now what we do when we are dealing with when we are dealing with when we are dealing with a dc then it is fine okay but but many of these say say 85 to 90% of these equipments will be used in ac so we'd like to know what happens when the when the current changes though ac is in seventh chapter still we understand what's an ac ac is a cyclical cyclical variation of the current on or the voltage cycle yeah it is usually a sinusoid okay so so this is an ac so this may be a voltage it could be a current this could be time okay whenever you have this kind of variation it is little be called an ac now what happens i i i take a solenoid i take a solenoid and and sort of do we get the sense of the turn they never so widely spaced but just to show i'm doing this and this okay okay fine now what happens i plan to apply this kind of an ac on on this the symbol for ac is like that and inside this inside this i put that ferromagnetic material okay which fits which fits into this completely okay so i i put that into this so so this is a ferromagnetic core this is a ferromagnetic core fine not no, now what i'll be doing is i'll i'll 
I'll change this current, okay? So, in this manner, though this, cha this change is very, very fast, okay? We'll assume that it is becoming very slow. It, it's it's, it's deliberately made very slow. And we'll try to see the response of, response of the, the ferromagnetic material to it. So, so what happens on the x axis we draw h and h is ni and ni is what the thing that actually drives the field because b is mu naught ni right so this is h and here here i have my b that is the magnetic field okay now what happens initially Initially, the magnetization of this material is, is zero. So, so there is no, no net magnetization, no net magnetization of the material. So, it is something like this. Now, what happens? I, I start increasing, okay? I start increasing my current. I start increasing my current. So, my current suppose the positive direction is this okay so positive direction is this this is my i positive i is positive in that direction and and for that i take b to be positive in this direction okay b to be positive in this direction okay now what happens now what happens is when you start increasing the current okay so initially initially the field does not start increasing linearly so there is a curve kind of thing okay now as you increase the edge it becomes the increase becomes linear Hmm. This is for the positive side. Hmm. This is for this. So, so current wise I am here, right? I am increasing my current, right? Now what happens? After a point, it starts saturating. Starts saturating. Okay? You understand? Normally, when you are dealing with a motor or a generator you limit yourself in this region in the linear region limit yourself as, in? as in that means you do not take your i beyond this that means you 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 limit your b here you do not want to take it to that point to this point why why because the increase in the magnet mag, mag, magnetic field is quite less and you have to increase your h a lot i, I that, that means your i has to increase now if you have to increase your i it means your copper loss we call it copper loss the, the losses i square r losses they are called copper losses so your copper loss will go up disproportionately right so so here you are not gaining much by the way of field but you are losing a hell amount of energy by way of copper loss we normally restrict ourselves within the linear region now so 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 the moment it gets starts getting saturated we stop okay so so this happens so i am here i am here at 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 point a okay here i am at point a the peak has reached now what happens? It starts getting reduced. It starts decreasing, right? Now the moment it starts decreasing, something else happens. Ideally, we expect it to follow this path. So it had gone like that. Ideally, we expect it to follow its path. So what has happened, you understand? The current here has reached a maximum. So, so all those alignments of the domains are in this direction. So my magnetization has peaked up. 
okay now i start reducing this current that means the forcing the forcing field that had actually made all the domains line in one direction that force i am reducing and that force is ni now if i start reducing it the wonder of wonders is it does not come back on this path but rather it starts following this path okay and when your current becomes zero that means that means from here you have come to this point okay so this point is your point b this so I'll, i'll say this is your point and this is your point o when you had started with the material you were here it increased we expected it to come back it did not it followed some other path and came here now what does it mean it means that even after the withdrawal of the magnetic field some amount of magnetism still remains inside the material that means all those domains they do not come back to their original position okay so as we increase the current the magnetic field field first increases non linearly then linearly first increases non linearly then linearly and then saturates and then saturates okay as the current reaches a maxima fine and we are at point a this is point a fine now what happens as the current decreases as the current decreases that means we are on to this part okay the graph does not retrace itself but rather ends at point b ends at point b at this point it still has some magnetization magnetization <coughs> left as as some of the domains some of the domains still remain aligned aligned in the in the original direction 
that is when the current was a maxima was a maxima when the current was a maxima okay fine now this amount of field is called the remnants okay the field ob is called the remnants all the remnants the field ob is called the remnants now what happens if you want to kill this field you want that somehow my material has got magnetized i do not want this magnetization to continue i want to kill this field it cannot be done to do that you have to apply you have to apply a current in the opposite direction you have to apply a current in the opposite direction equal to so so it may be here equal to to this amount um, you understand equal to an amount c amount this bc bc this this is the current in the negative direction that means now now what has happened the current direction has changed so so from this it has become this and this is actually you see this is actually forcing a field in this direction and it is that amount of field that will kill this positive field because because my positive is this this negative will kill this you understand that means i have reached here the the magnetic field inside is zero but see earlier when we had started there was no h and then to the magnetization was zero now there is a negative h then the magnetization is zero that is the difference so the material has moved from its original position right from its original undisturbed position so so what has happened to 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 bring this field to zero to bring this field to zero zero we have we have no this is not bc i'll have to apply a uh, this this amount okay cp we have to apply current cp cp okay this is time versus that okay this is not bh curve this is time versus current this time versus current for this okay so apply current cp in the negative direction in the negative direction okay to bring this field to zero we have to apply